The United Engine Corporation, UEC, has announced an important milestone in the testing of its PD-35 engine, which has successfully reached its targeted 35-ton thrust during the first phase of testing. This development is a groundbreaking development for Russia's aviation industry. The engine's previous tests at Baranov Central Institute of Aviation Motor Development Facilities, SAM, had only obtained 30 tons of thrust. This milestone, which was achieved on a newly opened test stand, represents a significant improvement. The PD-35 is distinguished by its noteworthy engineering qualities and displays a number of remarkable features. The engine maintains stability during extended operational periods and exhibits exceptional power delivery. Its innovative design emphasizes fuel efficiency, which is expected to result in substantial fuel consumption reductions when contrasted with other engines in its category. Additionally, the engine's adaptable architecture enables its integration with a variety of aircraft platforms, thereby increasing its practical and commercial value. The PD-35 has undergone a comprehensive and exhaustive testing program. Throughout the power and stability testing, the engine demonstrated performance under maximal load conditions, ensuring stable operation at high speeds without any operational interruptions or overheating conditions. Extensive temperature tolerance testing was conducted on the engine to demonstrate its reliability in extreme cold and heat conditions, a critical requirement for intercontinental flight operations at varying altitudes. Another substantial accomplishment for the PD-35 program was identified through fuel efficiency testing. As per the makers, the engine exhibited significantly lower fuel consumption than comparable engines in its category which is a critical requirement for long-haul flight operations and offers the potential to reduce operational costs for airlines. The engine was subjected to extensive contamination and mechanical impact evaluations by the development team, which prioritized durability testing. The PD-35's robust resistance to dust, contamination, and external impacts was confirmed by these tests, which indicate that the device has a decreased need for maintenance and a longer service life. The test results, as per the manufacturers, exceeded the anticipated parameters, thereby validating the engineering team's technical approaches and presenting new opportunities for the development of high-thrust domestic engines. The UEC Aviad Gettel team was well-deservedly recognized for this extraordinary achievement as they were awarded the prestigious Aviation Manufacturer of the Year title for 2024. This award, specifically in the category for achievements in the development of aircraft technology and components, recognizes their exceptional contribution to the advancement of Russian aviation technology. The PD-35, which is Russia's most ambitious aircraft engine project to date, commenced its journey in the summer of 2016 at two prominent facilities, Saturn in Rabinsk and Aviad Vigatel in Perm. The engineer's technical solutions have been validated and the engine has surpassed the projected parameters, as evidenced by the successful completion of the first testing phase, during which it repeatedly attained takeoff mode with 35 tons of thrust. Built upon the successful gas generator technology of the PD-14, this fifth-generation turbojet engine boasts a substantial fan diameter of 3.1 meters. The compressor and turbine stages are configured in a novel 9 plus 2 manner, which is accomplished by incorporating an additional stage at the high-pressure compressor exhaust. The foundation for the development of a family of engines with thrust capabilities varying from 24 to 38 tons will be the gas generator, which has already completed its testing phase. Denis Mantarov, the Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia, stated during the Aviation Engine Building on Full Throttle Plenary Session that the PD-35 is expected to be completed by 2030. Alexander Inozemtsev, the Deputy General Director of JSC UEC, who is responsible for the Perm Motors R&D Center, had previously stated that the PD-35 will undergo additional testing in the first quarter of 2024. The IL-76 LL aircraft will serve as a flying laboratory for these experiments, with the PD-35 prototype replacing one of the standard internal D-30KP engines. This testing phase is significant because it will be the first time an engine of this scale and capability has been flight-tested in Russia. The PD-35 is strategically significant 
and has a wide range of applications. It is being considered as an alternative power plant for the wide-body C929 aircraft manufactured by the Chinese company Comac. Additionally, it has the potential to power the il 9600 m into a two-engine configuration. The engine family that is based on this platform will include a variety of variants, including the PD-38 for larger twin-engine aircraft, the PD-28 for a potential successor to the AN-225 MIA, and the PD-24 for a potential replacement of the AN-124 Ruslan. Furthermore, the technology could be modified to accommodate oil pumping stations that are located on the ground. The objective of the development program is to develop a dual-circuit turbofan engine that can generate launch thrust in the range of 33 to 44 tons. Although chief designer Alexander Inozemtsev had initially recommended a thrust potential of 35 to 40 tons, the recent attainment of 35 tons is a critical milestone in the attainment of the program's objectives. This accomplishment is especially noteworthy in light of the preceding constraints that were identified during the SIAM testing process. Serial production was initially scheduled for 2028 to 2029. However, these dates have been modified as UEC allocates its resources between the PD-35 program and other critical projects, such as the PD-14 engine for the MC-21 passenger aircraft and the PD-8 for the regional SJ-100 aircraft. Despite these scheduling modifications, the program's recent attainment of 35-ton thrust capability indicates that it is making satisfactory progress. The successful demonstration of 35-ton thrust capability is a significant milestone in the history of Russian aviation, as it is the first indigenous development of an engine in this thrust class. This accomplishment not only fortifies Russia's position in the global aviation market, but also advances its objective of decreasing its dependence on foreign aircraft engines, thereby laying the groundwork for future advancements in high-thrust engine technology. Now, why do you think Russian politicians have not yet boasted about it in the press? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.